Hi everybody, welcome back to Sipsburg! Welcome back to Banished! We're back. We're back in glorious Sipsburg. Look at it. It's really, uh, it's really coming about. Um, a couple of things before we start. Last session I ended saying, you know, let me know if you want to see more of this, if you're getting bored or whatever. Uh, but I decided to just record another session anyway. Uh, because I am really enjoying this. And I want to see it through as well. I want to actually finish this town. Uh, I know some people have lost interest in watching this series. That's okay. There's still plenty of you who are interested in watching it. Uh, so that's fine. And maybe people will eventually catch up over time or whatever. It's not to worry. It doesn't matter. We're just going to keep going. We're going to build out this town until it gets uh, a bit boring uh, for me. And, uh, and probably more so for you guys. Um, and then we can move on to something else. Uh, but for now, we're back. Great. Uh, the orchard. <laughs> Before we start, I cut it down last time, uh, and I only just realized, thanks for all the comments on Reddit as usual, thanks for telling me how to play this game uh, when I get to points where I don't know what I'm doing, uh, which is, well, pretty much every point, uh, but this point especially. Apparently it takes like three years for these things to grow, uh, so I've slowed down progress of this orchard actually growing out by a year uh, because I cut it down and not realizing why it wasn't working. Okay, great. Uh, Old Gravy is satisfied. Look at that. 36 um, souls being tormented uh, it eternally by Old Gravy in the uh, in the Grand Cemetery of Sipsburg. Um, Old Gravy has gained so much soul power uh, from all of these dead bodies that he has actually managed to alter the weather system in the entire world. Uh, and one night he appeared and was laughing at everybody in Sipsburg saying, I hope uh, you like summer because it's going to be summer for a very long time. Ho, 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 with his like evil sinister laughing or whatever. And, uh, and, and there will no longer be any rain uh, or snow or anything like that. Well, basically, I've turned the weather effects off. <laughs> I was just trying to find a really good RP reason for doing so. Because uh, they're kind of annoying and loud and, and intrusive when you're just trying to like have a nice time at resting whilst playing this game. All right. Uh, a couple of things then. Uh, before we, uh, well, I say before we get started, we are actually getting started now. We need to make some houses for people working in the mine so they don't have so far to walk back to town all the time. Um, somebody suggested that and I think it's a pretty good idea, so we're going to do it. Let us get... Wow, look at all the iron that they're just storing outside of the mine. Somebody's going to have a really cool backyard in a minute once we place these houses. Um, other people have been saying, Sips, why are you building wooden houses when you could just build stone houses now? Uh, part of the reason is that I'm dumb as hell. Uh, also, I'm bad at computer games, you may have noticed that. Uh, and also, I've got this firm belief that you should work your way up in life, and I think that the residents of Sipsburg, uh, while starting in a wooden shack, uh, then earn their way <laughs> into a stone house. In my mind, that's how it works. Uh, practically and technically in this game, probably not. So we could probably just switch to making stone houses instead. Let's do it. Uh, let's get a nice stone house for um, one or two miners here, and then we can have a long lineage of mining families living close to the mine, um, getting their lungs all clogged up with uh, smoke and all the shit belching out of this tower here. Um, and of course, they will be massively unhealthy, contribute uh, wholesomely to this average health of the citizens in Sipsburg, which is uh, diminishing because there's no uh, stored medicine. Do we have herbalists? Yeah, we've got two. Okay. Do we want to think about maybe getting some more? How are these guys doing? We can check quickly. Well, they gathered 45 herbs last season, and they managed to also get uh, two logs for us as well, which is, uh, which is really nice. Um, all right, let's up the firewood limit then to... We're going to up the firewood limit to 600. We want to keep 600 firewood on hand. And, ah, look at this. What a fucking perfect timing. Oh, shit. Do you know what just caught my eye there? Look at who's died. Monsera. Poor Monsera. Oh, she became a forester in her late age and uh, and then died of old age, only to be replaced by Verling. Holy shit, there's a lot going on, isn't there? Uh, Kashansi has finally come of age. Look at that. He is now an adult and he's working as a laborer. Great. There's 62 adults. 63 adults, sorry. Camaraylin has also become an adult. Ah, oh, sorry. There's 62 now. Corny the fisherman has died. Fuck, it goes so quick. And Relame was born. Okay, we better uh, get onto this merchant before he goes. All right, so let's see. What do you have? Uh, it's Mertina, the general goods merchant, has shown up. And look at this. She's got chickens. 
Uh, is that, is that, that's not livestock chicken though. That's like a uh, chicken, chicken breast, like cut chicken. She's got chestnuts as well. She's also got potato seeds, which we have. And she's got a bunch of pecans, not the seeds, just the pecans. Okay, let's try this. Somebody's told me how to do this. Uh, and now I should be able to do it. Custom order from Martina. What do we want? Let's, let's get some peach seeds. Got, next time you come back, Martina, bring some peach seeds, please. For goodness sake. Uh, and also, if you don't mind, bring us, uh, we want some chickens. We want some actual chicken, like, livestock. Oh, is, is this the, no, chicken, is it, where, where, where could it be? Do you not have any livestock? No, she's only a, um, whatchamacallit, general goods merchant, I guess maybe she doesn't. Look at all the shit that she can, holy crap. Good grief, look at this beef, chicken, firewood, fish. Uh, there's all sorts of shit going on behind us. Let's just get some peach seeds. Okay, fine, Martina. Come back with some peach seeds. We'll definitely buy them so that we can grow some peach trees and uh, and start brewing some fine peach ale, peach flavored ale uh, for people. That'll be nice. Uh, are we running out of tools? Kinda. We have four. Somebody is without tools. No, there's three people without tools for some reason. Martina will hopefully come back and sell us some peach seeds. That'd be nice. And uh, and we're, we're running out of tools. Look at how much we're running out of tools. Holy crap. Uh, do we want to keep some more firewood in the trading post? I think we probably do, actually. Somebody was saying that it is actually quite a good resource to trade. Uh, so if we keep, say, 600, uh, let's up that to, like, 800. There we go. Uh, and make sure that we have enough traders. Yeah, we've got two traders, which is great. Those two traders can go collect all that firewood. We can keep storing it. I mean, we've got a really steady supply of logs now. We should have a really steady supply of firewood. We can even make another woodcutter uh, if it comes down to it, but we don't seem to have a problem staying at the cap at the moment anyway. And then we can use all that excess firewood for... Uh, trading. Wow, wow, we wah. Uh, holy shit, look at this. Wow. There's a, we have a chapel. The first chapel of Sipsburg in this really posh, sort of haunted area of the... Look at how haunted it is. What's wrong with these trees? It must be winter with the uh, weather effects off. Yeah, I, th I think it probably is, actually. Uh, and, and, of course, you can tell by uh, just checking here. Um, but because, again, I'm pretty dumb, I, I didn't bother to. So, uh, so there you go. Uh, Shad has become an adult and is working as a laborer. We now have two laborers in the pool. And Artholomew, uh, not to be confused with Bartholomew, of course, uh, has become a student. There are now nine students in Sipsburg, 63 adults, and 12 babies. Great. All right, we need a uh, cleric. We're going to have a cleric. Who's going to be the cleric? Oh, man, this is going to be great. Look at this. Holy shit. People are going to be so happy. There's 84 members of the church. Wow. And who's our cleric? It's Theri. <laughs> Theri has become the first cleric of... Shit, I did not want to do that. Fucking, I really struck... Come on! Thank you, Theri. Uh, Fenin the fisherman has died of old age, and Philo has replaced Fenin as fisherman. We now have zero laborers left over. Uh, these uh, builders should be building these stone houses, which they're doing great. Uh, our supply of stone is dwindling. Uh, our iron supplies are uh, sort of constant, and our supply of logs is uh, utterly fantastic. Holy shit, it's got to be said. Uh, we could do with getting a quarry um, pretty soon, I think. A quarry uh, to mine out a whole bunch of stone. We want to put it in a spot where it's not going to be too much of an eyesore. Maybe, like, back here somewhere? I think maybe back here would be nice, and then um, so we don't sort of intrude on all the wildlife areas around here. I mean, I could say say we do it down here, but I'm not too sure about that. Oh shit, there's a whole bunch of stone down here too that we could probably just pick up before we actually do that. Look at all this stone. Wow. Alright, let's grab all this. We'll get some orders out here to just pick up all this stone. If people are bored and they have nothing to do, uh, they can come out here and work these stone fields. Stone fields of Sipsburg. What a view. Uh, Shastasia, the cleric, has died of what? I thought it was theory. <laughs> well, Shastasia took over for a very brief moment in time and has now died of old age. And uh, and Philo, who seems to be the jack of every goddamn trade in the town, has replaced Shastasia as a cleric. Uh, which is nice, actually. Happiness is, wow, through the roof. The people of Sipsburg are just so happy. It's unbelievable. Great. Okay. I guess our next... Um, our next building, our next service building is probably going to be a hospital, uh, which we could do uh, fairly soon. Our, the reserve of firewood is low. Um, 
Yeah, I guess because we've just emptied it all out to put into uh, into here. We have 800 stored in the trading post. Uh, and it looks like they're building up the supply as we speak. Look, the two woodcutters have uh, sprung into action. That's good. Kamrick has become a student. Uh, Verling and Terry have both moved into this stone house. Uh, one of them's a forester, one, is a, one of them's a miner. Harmon the Forester's died of... Oh, Jesus. It's, it's happening very quick now. Uh, Gertrandi and Sabril have both moved into this house and are both miners as well. And let's have one more. We'll have one more. This will be like uh, the Wisteria Lane of uh, Sipsburg. Look at this. Just these three houses here. Uh, it's like Little Minington. It's like a little like hamlet of, of Sipsburg. Look, all the miners live in there and they go to work there and they drop off the iron there. And it's all very efficient. Should be able to see. You can use that pathing tool at any time to see where people are uh, going, how people are getting to work here. Look, there's a couple of people living in this area of town using these like fucking non-roads to get up here and then uh, of course getting onto the actual road uh, which is good uh, amazingly somebody here is deciding to work out in the middle of nowhere which is nice and these people are both working at the mine which is what we want okay great good you've got to love the pathing tool I always forget to um, to use it but it is a very good one Wilberto has become an adult and is working as a laborer great uh, and also a child named Ferric was born uh, let us get Wilberto into the Foresters Guild of Sipsburg. I like that. That's got a nice ring to it. I hope this is our peach seeds. Come on, peach seeds. I can't even remember what the woman's name was now. Is it like Wilhelmina or Wil 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 Wilberto? It was Wilberto. <laughs> it probably wasn't. Uh, hello? It's Millianette. Oh, she's got some sheep. And look it. These sheep cost like barely anything. Look at this, we can get two sheep for the low, low price of 1,200 big ones. Uh, and we should be able to trade a couple... Oh, look at this. We can trade 80 hide coats uh, for the pleasure. Or, uh, instead of that, maybe we can use some of this firewood and hang on to the hide coats for some other stuff. Let's use up some of this firewood that we've stockpiled because we're making uh, some more. Great. 300 firewood for two sheep. Sounds like a trade to me. Fantastic. Thank you, Millionette. That is great. Uh, do we want to order anything from you for the next time you come? Yes. Bring some chickens next time, you goddamn son of a bitch. God, this orders thing is fucking fantastic. All right, let's do this trade. Perfect. Get out of here. <laughs> Bye. We now have sheep. I can't believe it. All right. Uh, hopefully, they'll turn up with some chickens too. Millionette, when uh, he or she comes back, will bring some chickens. We can get the chicken racing course set up next to the tavern. That'll be nice. We now need a sheep pasture. Um... Oh, I've got a great idea. We're going to put the sheep pasture behind the church. I like that idea. I don't know about you, but every time I look at pictures of the medieval age, there's always some sort of sheep patch pasture. I'm, I'm getting tongue-tied. I'm so excited. Uh, there's some sort of sheep pasture behind the church. I mean, if you were born in the middle e medieval ages and uh, that somehow offends you or whatever, uh, I'm obviously very sorry about that. Uh, it shouldn't offend you. Uh, the fact that we are low on firewood right now, and iron as well, should offend you. And also the fact that uh, Talonzo, the miner, has died of old age, only to be replaced by two children named Harlos and Orest, uh, should please you and not offend you, hopefully. Maybe? No? Okay. Um, we only need two builders, apparently. And uh, let's let's take a look at these sheep. Let's see how we do this. This is going to be great. We're going to need some more farmers for the sheep. Uh, where is it? It is a pasture. Okay. We're going to have a great big pasture uh, like here. Kind of like this. Uh, they're going to be able to graze like there's no tomorrow. Let's rotate it around so that we have access to the pasture uh, down the side there. Oh man, this is going to be great. I think this is going to be some of my finest work right here. I cannot wait for this. Thanks for watching part 21 of Banished. We finally got our church ready and we're building a pasture filled with sheep. It's going to be fantastic. Stay tuned for part 22. See you next time.